Hi, welcome to Motorhome Open Day. You're all here today to learn how we're going to pay you 30% return over three years. The Motorhome Open Day is an opportunity for two investors to come along to our head offices here, um, have a brief presentation on how our investment scheme works. Most importantly, to see us and see the types of security that their money would be secured on. So if you're looking at putting a lot of money into a business, you really need to understand it, meet the people, look at the facilities. I'm sure it's essential to be totally transparent. Understand the culture as well, as well as seeing the product. You come into a farm, you, you wonder what sort, of, <laughs> what sort of setup it is, but no, I'm very impressed with it. I'm impressed with the two vans that they've got on show. Your money, your 35,000, we've bought a motorhome with it. Your money is secured against the chassis number of a motorhome. You must understand that the security is on a one-to-one -one basis, so what we mean by that is that the loan agreement names a specific chassis number, and that's the vehicle that we use the investment money to buy. Now, in, as a, and that's filed then as a debenture on our company, so in the event of us uh, going out of business, the investor has first charge over that particular motorhome, and is free to take that ahead of a queue of any creditors. I came up with the idea for the investment scheme um, because we were looking to expand our fleet but not in our traditional model which is to recruit owners. Um, what we wanted to do is have more control over the vehicles and the only way we could do that was to buy them ourselves. We've built the business by not borrowing money. The investment scheme is a brilliant way of us putting exactly the right number of motorhomes on the road to match how many we think that we can hire out. So that's why we don't approach the banks. Because we're the UK's largest motorhome hire company, um, we easily have enough rentals to support this idea. We had 300 motorhomes at Glastonbury this year, 300. Bear in mind, we charge up to £1,800 for one weekend's hire at Glastonbury. The next three years are absolutely key, not just in terms of general usage, but specific events that demand motorhomes as a key requirement. Next year we've got the Olympics, we've got the Paralympics, 2013 Glastonbury's back, 2014 is the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow. Now all of these, unlike um, Glastonbury, Glastonbury's one weekend, all of those other events are one month long. I mean, it didn't mention today, but the cost of flights is likely to double, if not treble in some cases next year because of changes in legislation and tax. It's going to put people off their traditional package holidays and they will, they'll make this sort of holiday more affordable. I think this kind of investment would appeal to most savers who have in excess of 50, 60,000 sat in a building society account or a, a savings account of some kind and an enduring sort of a one, one and a half percent return and that really wasn't what they had in mind or expected when they saved it hard for that money. Well I'm an existing investor in Motorhome um, on their sort of buy to let scheme um, and I'm currently reviewing my investment portfolio and this looked like a very good way of getting a return at a lower risk. Investments you have to be careful with and something that's delivering returns like this sounds sometimes to be too good to be true. So um, that was the main reason I came on today to understand the mechanics behind it. They seem to have answered all the questions, all the doubts that we had, particularly about um, why they didn't get bank loans. I couldn't understand that. I couldn't understand why they were offering it to investors and not just getting a loan from the bank. So he's, he's answered that question. I can see as a business model how it's really going to work, you know, how it is working and will continue to work. I think everyone, uh, savers especially, are looking for certainty in these uncertain times, as you say, because interest rates technically could go lower, so they may not earn any money on their um, savings, and at least this way they're guaranteed a 10.2% per annum paid monthly into their account, so they've got some certainty for at least three years. There's no obligation to leave us after three years, but you're in for a minimum term before you can withdraw your funds at that time. This is all about saying, well, you know, this is what I've done so far, um, come and join me and be a part of the success.